Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Do I have a treat for you? So, I am going to show you guys my, probably the, the most beloved collection of tarot cards in my collection um, and oracle cards. My dark theme decks. So I get asked this question all the time. Um, what decks do I use for the Halloween season? And I'm going to show you guys my collection. I have um, obtained some new decks since my last video that I did on my dark theme decks. Um, so you're going to see some new ones. And then you're also going to just see some repeats <laughs> from things that I've already, that I've, already had in my collection for quite some time so I have the table set I put some Halloween themed tablecloth here I'm gonna put the camera down like that so you guys can see the table and you can see the cards and we're just gonna go ahead and just like dive right into this okay um, so it kind of reminds me of like my Halloween theme readings. <laughs> I seriously cannot wait. I can't wait to jump into my Halloween theme readings. I miss doing them. So that's why this is such a treat because it's like for a couple seconds we could forget that it's summer. <laughs> okay. Um, I have quite a bit to show you guys. So I'm just going to kind of just, let's do, let's do the Oracle decks first and then we'll just dive into tarot. Okay. So let me make sure these are all tarot, I believe. Tarot. I have more tarot than I do Oracle. This is a tarot deck. Oracle, 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 Oracle. <laughs> this is an Oracle deck. Don't want to burn, don't want to light my cards on fire. Okay. All right. So the Oracle decks that I have, um, first off, I don't have the box for this deck, the Demon Tarot. It's called Tarot, but it's really an Oracle deck. Um, I threw the box out and I kick myself for it. I kick myself for all of the boxes that I don't have right now. Um, I, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I was doing it because I was going through this phase of putting my decks in bags. <sighs> now I kick myself for it. Like I wish I had the, the box. Sometimes I wanna go re repurchase this deck specifically for the um specifically for the box but no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> okay so the demon tarot the cards um talk about each little demon and the guidebook you really need the guidebook for this deck to get more insight on the demon and the divin divination message it's a spooky deck um it's not for everybody I had a spooky story with this, not this copy, but a previous copy that I had purchased from of this deck. Um, but I believe I actually made a whole story about it, a whole video. So if I haven't, I'll have to go double check, but I think I did. Um, but yeah, this is the Demon Tarot. I believe you can still find this one at Barnes and Noble. And it's a really pretty deck. Like it's just real, really simple artwork but it's creepy um and this is one that i like to pull as like a little addition to alongside the tarot reading so that is that and i remember for a while i had the guidebook in a box <laughs> so i wasn't able to read with the deck because the guidebook was in a box somewhere and i couldn't pull it out so I really wasn't using that deck for a good year or two. Um, okay, so then I have the Victoria Francis um, Oracle cards. This one's a real creepy gothic oracle. So the, those are the backs, the card backs. And what I went ahead and did was a, a little deck mod. I actually wrote 
a couple words or phrases to help me um, connect with the cards easily because I don't want to just pull out the guidebook every single time I was reading with it. So having the keywords there kind of helped me out just a little bit. But this deck is a very somber deck. The imagery is very somber. Um, it's like it has a gothic feel, I guess you could say. Really pretty cards, really pretty artwork. Um, so that's a pretty cool one. It's like has a blend of vampires and just a gothic feel. Um, next we have, this is my Madame and Dora's fortune cards. One of my favorite decks. This is one of my favorite oracles. Um, it has a somewhat of a dark theme to it. I love pulling cards from this one for clients in my Halloween theme readings. I just think that it's has like a very much of a fall feel to it. <laughs> And I believe you could still find this deck on Amazon and eBay. This is the Flowers from the Dead Oracle. I purchased this one at um, a random crystal shop that my husband and I stumbled across in LA. And they had like some indie decks there. This one's pretty cool. There's more in here, but I'm just pulling a couple out. I like how the card backs are all black. So what I went ahead and did was, I'll just take them all out. I went ahead and edged the sides black to go along with the, the card back. So I thought that was perfect. So the cards themselves are the carcasses or the skulls. <laughs> Of animals they have some you know some keywords real simple deck and it's just it's creepy in its own little way anything with like skeletons so it's pretty cool it kind of reminds me of my Oracle of Oddities which I'm gonna show next so my Oracle of Oddities, I have all three editions. Um, it came in it came in like the first, second, and third edition, and then there was like a point where you could buy all of them. And I was fortunate enough to snag the first edition from um, someone who was so sweet to sell it to me. So Oracle of Oddities, all of the editions, they all came the, all of the cards pretty much look the same. The card backs, some of them are a little bit darker than others, but I mean, it all still goes together. You'll notice I wrote in the corner with the little Sharpie, the number. So like if it has a one on it, I'll know this is from the first edition. If it has a little three, it's from the third edition because I mixed all of them together. So it's one gigantic like 90 something card deck. <laughs> Um, otherwise each individual edition was like 30 something cards. So I mixed them all together, but I wanted to make sure I can identify which ones were, were, were what from what edition. Um, Oracle of Oddities is really sweet. It has skeletons and then it has a lot of like florals and nature and plant life. It's a really, really unique deck and it speaks to my soul. This is like one of my faves for the fall season. Um, I usually I use it throughout the year, but this is like my showstopper when I do readings for people. I always get compliments on this deck. It's beautiful. You have like a blend of, you know, spooky and beauty. <laughs> so uh, it, it's a treat, and these cards are pretty much. Um, I don't think she's gonna be doing any more editions, so I think this is pretty much it. And I don't think she's gonna be selling them again. I think they're staying out of print unless she decides to put them back up. So I'm really happy to have all three.
And I have the boxes for these cards. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Um, next is my Fallen Angel Oracle, which surprisingly, this deck is out of print now. And when you search for it on eBay, it's hundreds of dollars. I was surprised. Um, I was fortunate to purchase this deck a few years back. And I think I only paid like 20 something dollars for it on Amazon. So to see it go from like 20 something dollars to like over $200, I think I saw it at, like, I think it was at up to 400 bucks. It was crazy. Um, it's pretty cool. So, because I, I know that feeling, like when you really want a deck and it's hundreds of dollars, that's how my Bohemian Gothics were. So I know that feeling. But the Fallen Angel Oracle is a really pretty walk through a haunted cemetery slash garden kind of a deck. <laughs> so it's kind of glossy. The card backs you have, just like in the, the front of the box, you have the angel statue. And each card has the name of a um, demon or a fallen angel. And you go through the guidebook and it'll give you like the divinatory message. So this is another one of those decks where you kind of need the guidebook to go with it. I mean, it has like a, a it has a word or phrase like stolas right here, which is funny because I call I call Luna my stolas. Um, but it's recuperation, so you can kind of use your intuition to read off of that. But um, I find that the guidebook really helps. It's beautiful. It photographs really nicely. It's just like a walk through a haunted graveyard. That's the, that's kind of like the theme of the deck. Like that's what it reminds me of. And um, this is actually one of my newer Oracle cards that I purchased. This is the Oracle of Nightmares. It was an Etsy purchase. So the card backs are black and you can barely see it, but there's like a little skeleton. These cards are dark. They're really dark and they're not for everybody. <laughs> they're a little creepy, which I like, but some people may not be too keen on the creepiness. But you, when you're going through the cards, you are literally feeling like you are walking through a nightmare. So I cannot wait to create a specific spread or a reading to use these cards. I am so excited. It's super creepy. Like, let me find a really scary one, <laughs> like this one. I mean, come on, you have like this, look at his eyes. Creepy. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really cool deck. Um, I am glad I got it. I look forward to it. It may not photograph nice. You have to have like the perfect lighting for it. But hey, I also need to find a really good deck bag for this one because it came in just a plain white box and eh, the box is like eh, eh. I need, <laughs> I need a deck bag. So I'm hoping Target will come out with their like Halloween-y bags because I bought a shitload of these like two, two seasons ago for decks. Um, okay, so those are all of my Oracle decks. I hope, I think that's all of them. Um, let's dive into the tarot. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Yeah, okay. So let's dive into the tarot cards. <laughs> let's get stuck. Okay, here's another one that I kicked myself for, for not keeping the box, the zombie tarot. I don't know what I was thinking because the zombie tarot came in a cute box. Um, so the zombie tarot has a cute little zombie gypsy there on the back. Really, really cute. And you have zombie cards. And I have a zombie, like I have a thing for zombies. I love reading zombie fiction. Um, I find this deck to be extremely intuitive. I love using this deck for past life readings. There's just something about it. It really, really gets me going with the past life readings. And past life readings are kind of like a thing that I like to do. Look at this one. 
kind of like a thing that I like to do in, um, during Halloween. I should bring that back, my past life readings. But yeah, just, I freaking love zombies. I don't think I'll ever get tired of them. Look at this Ace of Wands. Like, how can you not like that? <laughs> so that's the Zombie Tarot. Um, I got this one off of at Barnes and Noble and I believe it's still it's still available you could find it it pops up every once in a while at the store okay this is another one I lost or well, I lost I threw out the, the box for because I'm dumb this is the ghost tarot um so I love the card backs of the ghost tarot and this is another deck that I edged in black because I just thought it would look super cool um, and it's a tarot deck with ghosts. And they're really creepy. They illuminate. <laughs> I just love this deck. I think it's so unique. You don't see it used often. So it's not like a well-known popular deck, at least in my opinion. Um, but it's just creepy. It has like that ghosty feel to it. And for the most part, it follows right away at that hangman oops it's upside down so it's cool i like it let me get the this is the hermit <laughs> i love it the ghost tarot um here's the tarot of vampires This one has the most beautiful card backs, roses and thorns. This deck is gorgeous too. I also put um, do, did the black edging. I was like obsessed with the black stuff. <laughs> but it's a deck of vampires. And they're sexy vampires. There's blood and gore. The artwork is beautiful. It photographs really, really nicely. It's just super creepy. And I love this deck. I just think it's so fun to work with. I love vampires. Look at how creepy that is. You have Medusa. So it's not, you have vampires, but you also have like some other kind of creepers. Like I think this is like a demon. Hopefully it's, I hope it's focusing. Sorry guys. It might be the candle. <laughs> Look at this one, the lovers. So yeah, if you're looking for a vampire deck, the Tarot of Vampires, I highly recommend. It's really, really pretty. It has beautiful imagery. It shuffles nicely because it's semi-thin cardstock. told you I got a lot of deck bags but then I ended up throwing out the card boxes so that was kind of dumb I'm so mad at myself for doing that um okay this one in here is um the vertigo tarot which is just a creepy deck um I love this deck it's super intuitive it's not for everybody it's just, I don't know, there's something about it. When I read with it, I feel so connected to my intuition. Um, but like I said, it's not for everyone. Not everybody likes the imagery. Um, it's sometimes hard to read. It's sometimes just kind of like, it's very different. It does not follow right or wait. Um, but I love it. Like, look at this tower card. It just really gets your mind going. So that's the Vertigo Tarot. There's the death card. This one I really only bring out during the fall season. Um, this is a newer deck that I purchased. I put it in a bag because the box, it came in a box very similar to <laughs> the Oracle Nightmares, like just a white box. 
Um, this is called the Crooked Way Tarot. It has, you could you could pretty much custom design like the backs that you want. So there's like multiple ones you could choose from. So I chose like this one because I thought it was pretty cool looking. Um, and then it's Halloween-y themed. So you just have like all of these cool, spooky, haunted looking imagery characters. Really creepy. I have a werewolf right here. A chariot. It's different. It's definitely different. I like this one. I thought this one's pretty cool. <laughs> I look forward to reading with 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 this deck for clients. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, the moon. Look at this one. This is Cousin Sebastian, Ten of Pins, or the Ten of Swords. Look at that card. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you see it, you guys? Is it focusing? Stupid phone. Um, this is the Ant Antique Anatomy Tarot, the Ephemera Edition. This is by the same creator of the Oracle of Oddities. beautiful card card backs and this is more of like a fall feel you have the skulls and the flowers still little bones and stuff pretty cool deck I don't really read with it much though but I love taking pictures with it I think it just <laughs> it's an Instagram worthy deck <laughs> like definitely You can um you can find this one on Amazon. I think she went uh, what's it called mainstream with this deck, so it's like mass produced on um, Amazon. You can find it. Let's see. This is the Vampire Tarot. I don't use this one that much, but I don't want to give it up because it's just it's a cool funky little deck. So I really love the card backs. I edged it in like this reddish color. <laughs> um, that was like a little project. Um, and it's cartoony. It's like a cartoony vampire deck. Maybe I'll work with it more this year. I always, I say that every year and then I don't. But it's fun and I never wanna give it up because I feel like this would be one of those decks where I'll see someone start using it all a lot and then I'm going to be like, oh, I shouldn't have, you know, I shouldn't have sold it. <laughs> so it's just fun. Look at that. It's so cute. Little vampire. This is the Gothic Tarot. This is by the same person who did the... Um, what is it called? The uh, Madame and Dora's fortune cards that I showed you guys. So this is the Gothic Tarot. I love the card backs. And it's a fun oracle. I mean, it's a fun tarot deck. It's kind of one of those like, it's super, super brutally honest kind of decks. <laughs> to me, like when I read with it, it tells it like it is. This is like my snobby deck. I love it. You have vampires, you have like goth looking people, you have like little gargoyles. It's a fun one. I like it. They're all like, all my cards are every which way. I'm so sad because some of these I haven't I haven't used since um literally like since last fall. 
Um, this one is the Trick or Tarot. I loved this one last year. It was my favorite. It's by the same um, people that I ordered the Crooked Way. So it has these cute little Halloween-y looking card backs. And it's a Halloween-y deck. But it's more of like actual photos, you know? Well, maybe not actual photos. I don't know. I don't know. The artwork's different in this one. It's like collage kind of. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but I just think it's so fun. I love the cardstock. It's like semi-matte. And it's just funky. So I was definitely, I was definitely using this one a lot. Um, look at the King of Cups. I was definitely using this one a lot last year. <laughs> and then I have the Halloween Tarot. This one's fun. You can find this one off of Amazon. It's a cartoony, Halloweeny deck. It's so cute. So if you're into the Halloween stuff, I highly recommend this deck. Get it before it's no longer available. <laughs> because they're so fun. How do you not want to read with that? <laughs> I just think it is so cute and it photographs so well. It follows Rider Waite Tarot. little ghosts and pumpkins and bats and mummies you have like literally every character every Halloween character you can think of even like a little uh, hum a hunchback you have little devils scarecrow skeletons like it's just a cute deck Okay, and then these are all my Bohemian Gothic. So last but not least, my Bohemian Gothic Tarot Collection. Um, so I have all of the editions except for the mini and except for the second edition with the pewter edges. Those are the only two I don't have. But other than that, I have every single edition. So let me put them in order so that you guys can see. Okay. Now, first edition, first edition is this one. Salt, the box is so taped up because it was like falling apart. I bought it off of eBay. I was super excited because I got a steal on it. First edition has these gorgeous skeleton backs. Um, I love the cardstock. The first edition is probably my most favorite edition of the Bohemian Gothic that I have. It shuffles like money. I love this deck. This is my favorite. Aside from Rider Waite, this is my favorite tarot deck. It's just so, oh, I love it. I love this deck. That's why I own all the editions. Because <laughs> I wanted them all. Um, they're all out of print except for the third edition. And the third edition is literally on its way out to becoming out of print. So if you want it, you better snag it now. Because then they're going to be like ridiculous amounts of money on eBay. Okay, so the second edition is this one so the second edition has it also has the skeleton backs but they are more muted so they're more like a grayish color they're not as like bright um and the cardstock is thicker i don't care for the second edition cardstock it's too thick in my opinion it doesn't shuffle like money <laughs> But they enhance the imagery on the card so they're not as dark. The first edition, the images are dark. You literally look like you're walking in the moonlight with barely any light. Um, then they brightened them up a little bit in the second edition. 
So when you look at them side by side, you can see a major difference. Um, but I don't like the cardstock on this one, so I don't, it doesn't get a lot of action from me, but I have it anyway. And then there's the third edition. So I have two copies of the third edition because when I first purchased, this was the first, first ever Bohemian Gothic Tarot deck that I owned. Um, it was the third edition. I bought it. Um, at a discount off of Baba Studios website because it did not come with a box so it didn't come with the box that this one has um, So it was I got a discount for like 20 bucks off or something. The cards are beautiful but I made a rookie mistake and I edged my cards in black ink I did black right but I fucked them up so they were still wet and I shuffled them and I got black ink smudged all over the top on probably 80% of the cards. Some of them you can't really tell, but I'm telling you, I was so sad. <laughs> I was so sad because they just have smudging all over the tops. So that was my fault. I lived with it. It sucked, but I was like, well, whatever, it's my deck, you know? And for the longest time I was, you know, I was using this deck. And I was going back and forth because at the time they were still selling the third edition and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna get it, I'm not gonna get it. And I, I went probably two years, maybe a year or two years without buying it. And then I finally gave in and I bought it because Baba Studios put up a post on their Instagram saying they were running low on this deck. And once they sell out, they go out of print and literally they will pop up on eBay for hundreds of dollars and it's ridiculous. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy the third edition while I can at their decent price. I think this was $45 to $50. And it came with a box and I'm happy because I have a fresh, literally a fresh edition of the third edition. And it's no smudging and I am not touching the sides. I'm just leaving it alone. <laughs> But it's my copy. I love the card backs in the third edition. I love the card stock. It's so much thinner. It's It shuffles like money, similar to the first. But the cards just look so beautiful. They're even more enhanced. So everything pops out in them, like literally. And it's just a beautiful deck. Like the third edition is a beautiful edition, I gotta say. But, um, because the imagery pops like look at that gorgeous sky but I love the card backs of the first edition better and I don't know there's just something about the first edition that I just I love it so oops oh that's just the title card okay. and then I also was able to snag the silver edition bohemian gothic tarot so the silver edition means the cards have this silver overlay. So the, the backs are just like the first edition. They're very bright. Um, and the silver overlay on the cards, it's hard to tell in on camera. But they look like they're just, it's just such a crazy glow. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it on camera when you're sitting in your room with the lighting just right, you'll be able to see what I mean. Oh, there you go. See how you can kind of see it goes like funky looking and then it's like, oh, there's the image. Oh my God, like it's it's a beautiful deck. Um, I seriously, like I laid in my bed looking through each card one by one super slow, <laughs> slowly because I just thought it was so beautiful. And I paid, you know, a decent amount for this one, but it was worth it. I did not pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars, um, but I did pay over $100 for it. But I was able to snag it at a discount because I actually bargained with the person um, and they gave it to me at a better price. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. Look at that. Oh my God, I just can't. This deck is so pretty. <sighs> so the silver edition is like, it's like my baby. Um, I'm very picky with 
when I use it. I don't just use it for client readings, not often. I have been known to, to take it out because I wanna use it, but I'm very careful with it because it's so pretty. So yeah, that's my, um, let me put this back up. <laughs> that is my um, spooky, Halloween-y, dark-themed tarot and oracle deck collection, you guys. Thank you for watching. And um, I look forward to seeing what decks you guys have. Like, I hope you guys, those of you who I follow on and on YouTube, if you guys post your own um, Halloween-themed readings, or Halloween-themed decks, I can't wait to see all that stuff. I know more of you guys are going to pop it up, um, have them pop up. The closer we get to the fall season but i just wanted to do mine today because i have time and why not so talk to you guys later bye guys